Hey people, it's Gakwa here and welcome to another video. It's been a couple of days since the new iOS 15 has been out and I've had it running on my phone since day one. In this video, I'm going to share with you five of my favorite features of the new iOS 15 beta. So in case you have it installed, you should check them out. Also, I'm going to walk you through my new home screen setup. I'm going to let you know everything that I have going on on my phone currently. To start with, let me just take you through this so I can hop into my five favorite features of the new iOS 15. Basically, my new home screen setup was built around this nice wallpaper that has half of it blurred out so you can actually see or focus on any icon pack that has been placed on your home screen, being it icons or widget. So I like this wallpaper, it looks really cool. So here I have set it up with my personal icon pack, which I'm going to leave in the description. It comes with three different icons in the pack. As you can see, I have the dark one, the light one, and also the rainbow one. It all comes in one pack when you download it. That is the pack I use to set up my home screen setup here. And as you can see, it looks really clean. I have all my icons on the right part so that I can easily reach them, which I feel like it's really cool. Also on the home screen, I have my widgets down here. You can see I have my widgets placed down here. I can see all my notifications, my music, my calendar, my podcast. I have basically my battery, everything down here going for it. So it looks really minimal when I don't want to show anything on my home screen. I can just hide it. This was also done with a clear space application. I'm going to leave it in the description. On the first page, I have a blank page. That's what it looks like, but I also have a widget hidden here, which is really, really cool. So if you want to check this out, I'm going to leave the download links down below in the description so you can check it out. Now let's hop into five of my favorite features of the new iOS 15. The, the first one is definitely going to be FaceTime on Android. When this was announced, I think most Android users were kind of confused. They thought they could actually use FaceTime on Android, but after having this installed, what I realized was that you can just share the link so that Android users can actually hop onto FaceTime calls. So if you're an Android user, you're not going to be able to start your own FaceTime. This is how it's going to be. With FaceTime going on on your phone, you can actually share a link with Windows or Android users so they can actually join in on your FaceTime call. But all in all, I think it's pretty cool. My next favorite feature is going to be the watch together, listen together, share screen, which I feel like it's pretty cool. So depending on wherever you are, you can actually share your screen with any anybody at all this is actually going to help with tech support you can actually watch movies together you can actually listen to music together right from the facetime course which i feel like it's a really nice feature i can't actually wait to try that out but in the beta this is currently not enabled so i haven't been able to try that out but i'm still excited about it my next favorite feature of the new ios 15 is definitely going to be the notification summary with a new ios 15 you're going to get all your notifications arranged in summary this is going to make it easy for you to read through all your notifications you have on your phone i find this really cool and it looks really nice in case you have a whole lot of notifications coming from one person so the new notification summary feature that comes with ios 15 is really amazing that actually leads me to my next favorite feature on the new iOS 15. This has to do with a new focus mode. So iOS 15 comes with this new focus mode, which is going to allow you to get special notifications or calls, depending on whatever you're doing during the day, for instance, inside here, you can customize your focus mode. I have one set for work mode. So when I'm working, only specific people can get their calls through or only specific applications can get their notifications through. This is actually really cool. You can set one for your sleep or your personal or whatever you're doing, which I feel like it's really cool. I haven't actually set the personal app, so you can actually go through and do that right here. So the new focus mode is really cool. This is actually going to help you improve upon your productivity. We're going to prevent you from getting on wanted notifications on your phone at any time of the day. Last but not the least is the new live text feature. Unfortunately, this is not working on my iPhone X. It looks like this is going to be an iPhone 12 thing. So if you're using iPhone 12, you can actually get this feature, which is going to allow you to be able to select text right from your camera where you can actually extract text from your pictures. It looks like I'm not going to have that on my iPhone X, which is really sad because I was really excited about that. So basically, these are all my favorite features on the new iOS 15 and also this is my new home screen setup, which I'm using for my new iOS 15. And if you want the application that I use for this, I'm going to leave it in the description so you actually can actually go check it out. Also, I'm going to leave the icon pack. You can also check that out. This brings us to the end of today's video. Let me know if you want a more dedicated, detailed review of the new iOS 15, and I'm going to get that out for you as soon as possible. Thank you. If you're new to this channel, 
Don't forget to subscribe, leave in the comment section anything you want to know as I'm always hanging out with you. I'll see you in my next upload. Peace, I'm out.